Hi, I'm June from Brimbank Libraries. Welcome to the Brimbank Libraries Activity Zone. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make some castanets. Uh, so castanets are a percussion instrument from the same family as drums, and you hold them in your fingers or hands. They're used mainly in um, Spain and South American countries. And here's a photo of someone playing some castanets. They're playing some castanets while they're dancing. And the aim of the castanets is to make a clicking noise. So you make a clicking noise so that you can dance along with the music. So they're usually made of wood. And here's some here. I've got a couple um, of sets of cats, uh, castanets here. And they make the clicking noise. So those ones are made of wood. But uh, we're going to make some out of cardboard and bottle tops. So what you'll need is some glue, so either a glue stick or some sort of um, craft glue. Uh, you'll need some scissors, some cardboard, some bottle bottle caps, so or jar lids. So I've got um, some metal ones here. Did that make a sort of a clucky noise? Or if you've got plastic ones, that's fine. You can use plastic ones. And then to decorate your castanets, uh, you need some markers, some, some sort of marker pens, or um, coloured pencils or crayons, whatever you've got. Or you could use some stickers. Uh, so I tried making a few different sizes, but I think the smaller ones, um, they actually work the best. They seem to be the easiest to play. So there's some that I've made. Uh, so um, I've cut some pieces of cardboard. There's a few strips there. And the size that I've used here is approximately uh, 17 centimetres uh, long by five centimetres wide. That seemed to be a good size. And, you know, to fit the bottle top on and to be able to fold it over to make a clacking noise. Uh, so you can round off the edges if you want to round off the ends. Just make it look um, a bit uh, smoother on the end there. Uh, so the other thing you could do is if you have some colored card or colored paper you could glue that onto the other bits of cardboard these ones aren't thick enough but you could you could glue them on to some thicker cardboard and uh, you could also to decorate your castanets you can do some different things you could um, if you use that green paper and glued that on you could make it into an animal so it could be like a crocodile, like a snappy crocodile castanet. You could decorate it with some googly eyes and some teeth and some nostrils like that one. Or you could use your marker pens and you could draw some designs on uh, your castanets like, like these ones here. Uh, but I'm going to use some stickers on mine. So let's have a look. So the first thing I have to do is to fold it in half. So we said it was about 17 centimetres long. So I just got to find the middle. So that's about eight and a half centimetres there. About there. So if we fold it there, there we go. So I folded it in half. It already makes a bit of a clicking noise, even before we put the bottle tops in. So, got some stickers here. Might put a stripey one on there. Uh, what else should I put on? I could put, there's a flowery one. Might put, I put stripes on one side. So, I might put a sticker with some dots on it on the other end. There we go. So, I've done a little bit of decoration there. You could probably decorate your castanets a, a lot better than that. But um, yeah, so stickers, markers. 
whatever you want to do to decorate your castanet. So, um, as I said, now we need to uh, glue on some bottle tops. So I glued these ones on. But um, you could also use some blue tack. So you need to make sort of a long snake snake shape. So I might use these uh, bottle toppy sort of things here. And I'll put those on with blue tack. So just a bit tricky, but I'm getting there. So I don't need all of that. So it'll probably stick on quite well with blue tack. Have a look. I'll put it up there. There we go. So that was blue tacked on that end. And that's another piece of blue tack. Make our snake shape. shape here put it on Glue that one on that end. And you play them. So if you put two fingers on top and your thumb on the bottom and... So that's quite loud now, isn't it? There's your castanets. And the best thing about castanets is that you can play them while you're dancing. So if you make some castanets yourself, We'd love to see a photo. So you could go to the library's Facebook page and upload a photo. So that's all for me today. So I hope you've had some fun and hope to see you soon at Brimbank Libraries. <laughs>